Shalom, Assalamu Alaikum, welcome. My name is Scott Simpson, and I'm the Public Advocacy Director for Muslim Advocates. We're a national civil rights organization for American Muslims. And we're honored that you invited us here tonight to allow us to mourn with you for the 11 people and their families who were slaughtered and for the thousands of congregants at Tree of Life who have lost loved ones and their own sense of safety in their own sanctuary. We also mourn for the 300,000 people of Pittsburgh, for the 5 million American Jews and countless American refugees who are now facing a direct attack on their community. How many communities need to be shattered by violent hate crimes? Today, it was the Tree of Life in Pittsburgh. Last year, we had the mosque bombing in Bloomington, Minnesota. The year before that, we had the Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando, Florida. And the year before that, we had the Mother Emanuel AME Baptist Church shooting in Charleston. And before that, we had the Oak Creek shooting of a Sikh Gurdwara. And those are just the attacks that made the headlines. Right. Along the way, we've seen countless hate crimes and houses of worship be attacked. We've also seen an endless stream of bigoted hate speech, online posts, and political campaigns. At Muslim Advocates, we never presume we're going to know what our day is going to look like. We are always prepared for the worst. And that's because hate crimes like this and mosque burnings and bombings have become so terrifyingly common that we still sleep with one eye open every night just to make sure that we're ready to respond to the next one. And here we are at the White House. The president is not the only person to blame for this environment that we're in. He didn't start this fire, but he has got to ask out, douse gas all over it. Today, the president called this shooting quote unquote unimaginable. <laughs> for us, it's not only imaginable, it's real life. Who will it be next year? Who will it be tomorrow? We don't know yet. But my brothers and sisters, tonight, we mourn with you. But tomorrow, we will fight with you. We will fight for a better America. We will fight for a more peaceful America. We will fight for a more equal America and a more unified America. The stakes could not be higher. And if I haven't seen a moment like this to make it so clear how high these stakes are, I haven't seen one yet. This is beautiful. Thank you for having us here tonight, and thank you for letting us mourn with you.